Hey everyone, welcome to this different setting of a Wine Wednesday, and I'm going to be completely honest with you, the rest of my house is a disaster. <laughs> it would have taken me a lot longer than I wanted to put into it to clean it. Um, yeah, I even have shit like half a foot outside a camera that's just like everywhere. But I put up my tree. I haven't lit it yet. So this is my lovely tree, um, but I haven't decided to light it because I know there's a lot of different opinions on even setting up Christmas before Remembrance Day. Uh, I have been wearing a poppy. It just doesn't work with this le leather. And I had it in my shirt earlier, but like it would fall out within two seconds just because it's a tank top. Like I lost it three times in my house before I left earlier within like two minutes because it would just like pop out. So I decided to not wear it this evening. Um, but I haven't lit it yet. I'm going to wait till Thursday to light my tree. And plus, um, <laughs> I have to figure out how to connect it to my cord because my layout is different than last year. But obviously I have a pink ornament tree. I have some really cool ones in here. Um, oh God, I just hope you can't see it from where you are. But if you can see it, this is um, a wine glass with pink sparkles in it. And then back here actually is 2019, like a pink and gold champagne bottle. And the rest is just pink and gold and fun. But welcome to in front of my lovely unlit Christmas tree. I thought it was cute. But okay, you've seen this brand before. And I had promised some other versions of it that I had bought. And we're going to do it today. Also, I have had two beers before this, so I don't know. We'll see how this goes. I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> We are having another Basque wine. And if you remember Basque wines, they are zero grams of sugar. Uh, so we're having the Basque Sauvignon Blanc. It is 12, uh, 12 ounces, 12%. Again, Basque's motto is to lie or relax in pleasant warmth or atmosphere, to revel in, to take pleasure and enjoyment. I think their saying is super fun. I think their wines are whether I have had them or not, I think they are great for people. There's a lot of people who are diabetic who can't have a lot of sugar for whatever reason or just don't enjoy it, but they still like wine. And you don't always know the sugar content of wine. So this is really a, still a great company that at least tells you what it is. Again, they have nutritional facts on the back, which no other wines have. No other really alcoholic drinks have, which I think is amazing. So I'll tell you about it. My cats will probably wander around. They have their cat stand back here and I also have them on the tree but Empress is right here right now <laughs> and she's confused but um so per three fourths of a cup which I don't know how you measure in wine glass 180 milliliters how many ounces is that the wine is five ounces I don't know but 160 calories which is actually a really great number excuse me I think there might be two cats somewhere. Oh, they're right here fighting. <laughs> if you see it or hear it, I'm sorry. Uh, protein, 0 0.4 grams. Carbs, 7 grams. And fat, no, no fat. And then 0 grams of sugar. Um, I don't have a, a table. Welcome to my ratchet ass. Almost Christmas themed wine Wednesday. <sighs> Jeez. What am I doing, you know? I'm gonna drink it. Oh, I spilled it a little bit. That's really cool. Don't do it in between your legs, friends. Get a table. Don't don't do it with me. Okay, pale yellow. It's the exact same color as the bottle. No difference. Frosted in the glass now because it's not used to the cold. But it smells like a Sauvignon Blanc. It has the florals to it, aromatic. So we shall see. If you see my cat, you probably can't, but Mrs. Gray's right here. Okay. Tastes like a Savion Blanc. Ooh, that was tart. Ooh! Ooh, right here! It's a very tart wine. You definitely are getting grapefruit and floral. Okay, okay. Mm. 
It's very tart. Okay. I don't find this enjoyable. Like, it's not bad. Yeah. It's tart. There's no sugar to balance it. So it's not a balanced wine. It's, um, it's just hitting me right here. Yeah, it's not balanced. It's not great. But again, for zero grams of sugar, why would you expect there to be any sweetness to balance it out? It's a very tart wine. Twelve ninety five at the LCBO. I prefer to their Pinot Noir. If you like tarty grapefruit Savion Blancs, I think I've also personally I think I've moved on from Savion Blanc. I, they used to be my go to wine, and they're not anymore. I've kind of gone back to Riesling, which is very strange. I started in Riesling and then I moved on to Savion Blancs and Pinot Gris. And now I've kind of circled back to the more sophisticated um, Rieslings. I'm still not much of a Chardonnay person. I'll have them, but I don't know what it is, but they're not my fave. And I've kind of moved back into red. But, so I used to like Savion Blancs. One more time, let's see. It's mm, I'm giving this a four. That's my worst weight rating so far. Like, if you're someone who needs a zero gram or really wants a zero gram sugar, try it. Like, a hundred percent try this wine if that's like your goal. But it's not my goal. So for that reason, I will never buy this again. But that's because I would rather have a more enjoyable wine with sugars in it. And that's my honest opinion. They're always my honest opinion, but this is a four. It's too tart because it's not balanced with any sweetness. Oh, excuse me. Well, I poured myself a big glass. I have a bottle. Maybe I'll cut it with some orange juice. I don't know. Anyways, zero gram sugar, Basque, their Pinot Noir was good. On that note, happy Wine Wednesday, friends.